Hey guys, I'm Morphil, and this is the video review of the DX King O2 from Osama Sentai King O2. This is the main mech for the King O2s. So, with that explanation out of the way, let's begin. First up, let's take a look at God Clarita, which is a stack deal, which looks cool. Now, one thing I do want to point out is the theming of the Sioux Gods is that you may see uneven paint. Now, th this is on purpose, so you just want to keep that in mind. For articulation, both pins, the claws can open. The back wings can split open. And the front legs are on the bar joint. On its own, it doesn't really do much. Next up, let's take a look at God. Tombo, which is a dragonfly. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. For articulation, the wings can go up and down. But I don't know if it's just mine, but the wings on mine feel pretty loose. Next up, let's Take a look at God Kamikiri, the mantis, which also looks cool. For a articulation, the head is on a bottle joint, and the claws or the circles can go up and down. Next up, let's take a look at God Hachi, which is a bee, which also looks cool. Articulation is the wings can go up and down and do a 4060 due to it being on a bottle joint. Next up, let's take a look at God Papillon, which is a butterfly, which also looks cool. For articulation, the wings can go up and down. On its own, it doesn't really do much. Next up, let's take a look at the smaller Sioux Gods. First up is the two God Kumo, which is the spider. Now, they both share the same molding. But they basically are inverse of each other. Next up is God Tentos, which are ladybugs.
And finally, we have we have the one dot ant, which is a coincident ant. And on a little side note, this is the only Sioux god, at least in, th in this set, to use the English name. And here we have King Ogre. So let's take a look. Which looks awesome. But unfortunately, this feels very unstable at times, so I would be careful. So, for articulation, the arms can go out and in. It can go this much forward. It's the head is on a ball joint. Then it has a waist swivel. The arms can bend. Then the hand can swivel for the legs it can go forward and back and has a knee joint and the leg can swivel And there we go. This mech is fantastic. And I really do enjoy it so much. The articulation is good. And you can really get to some cool poses. The only downside to it is that it feels kind of unstable. And will break apart. So do be worried about that. But if you're a fan of King Ultra the show, I would recommend this. So yeah. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And I see you at the next one.